guys, we finally have it. This is the Tipman Ordnance 22 caliber Gatling gun. Yes, they make the nine millimeter versions, but I was really holding out because I figure this would be great for the kids at Marksman Camp, and I'm not disappointed because it is a belt fit. And these belts are individual links, so we can make it as long as we want. And as we promised with our little teaser at SHOT Show, what we're gonna do first is shoot down a tree, so let's shut up and shoot. We have our nice big pine tree there. It is dead, and it's gonna cr fall across this trail if we don't cut it first. And so uh, it's a good one. We've never shot one that big with a 22, but we have 250 rounds to start off with. Shut up and shoot. Broke another belt. Oh, snap! Bye-bye, camera! Oh! oh, that was great! I thought we were going to take at least 500 rounds and have to reload this thing. You can see it is cutting it perfectly like a saw, and it worked perfectly. We almost killed that camera, but we didn't. Let's go check out the damage. This has to be one of the most efficient tree cutdowns that we have had so far because of the Gatling gun feature, because we can just go back and forth and everything else is mounted and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So we could just see this three quarters of an inch just buzz cut going in. Gatling gun efficiency. Pretty good stuff. Top Shot Tree Service, another win. We know it's accurate on a tree, so we're gonna see how well of a group we can get. Now we got it pretty stable on this table because uh, we're gonna use it for marksman camp with the kids. We want it nice and safe. Let's just let her rip on this plate and see what we can do. But I'm gonna also try to brace it well. I'm gonna tell you, I expected a little better, but there's so much movement. You can just see in the in the, the articulation of the uh, the linkage itself. But all right, let's just try, let's try to brace it. That's still cool. All right, I'm gonna go for a belly button height, get something new. Oh, we broke our links. So we can talk about our belts real quick because every link is actually just uh you can just put together as long or short of a belt as you want so we can just click it back together and open the top catch feed it back in and then go again let's go for that hostage head though let I thought I would try to move it since it wanted to, but it didn't work that way. All right, the chain fell apart, but every gun is always loaded. Let's see if it has one or two more rounds in it. Just one more. When you're done with it, you can always pop it open, run it backwards, and you're clear. What about accuracy? Our furthest target out there is at 270 yards. If we hit it, we'll have a little green flashy light. I heard it bounce around. <laughs> I heard it. It's not flashing though, so let's get it again. That is cool. Nearly 300 yards. And you have to be so easy on this crank because, of course, you know, there is no good trigger. You're cocking and racking the bolts. There it is again, dropping the firing pin. But at 300 yards, that's just neat. That's cool. That's pretty accurate because you also have to think the tolerances of every barrel have to be in the right spot because you're using a different barrel every time you fire, but we're still on target. Awesome. <gasps> Let's try it really fast. I'm hearing them hit trees. That's cool too. <laughs> Squirrel hunting. That is one tough squirrel. <laughs> I was trying to cut the joker in half, but this clear ballistics gel is pretty tough. But uh, we probably hit it a good 40 times in there. That's, it. yeah, he still stands. We have a level four ceramic plate down there. It's already been shot, but we're gonna see what a couple hundred rounds of 22 does. I don't know, our 
clear ballistics gummy bear might have died. Okay, we have a little bit of fuzz here. Oh, I think we made it through with one lucky round. One lucky round went through right there. That's, <laughs> it didn't go that deep after going through everything else. Barely, barely made it through our gummy bear. One lucky round out of all that. Level four plate is almost rated for whatever we shot it earlier. And all, we probably just got lucky on where we defeated it, probably with a 50 cal or something. Now that we've had some fun with the Tipman Gatling gun, we can talk about some of the features. Are Gatling guns legal? Because that's going to be every... Can I have one? I don't know about all the states, but federally, there is no law regulating a Gatling gun as different from any other firearm. When you fill out your 4473, the FFL would just put other because it's kind of a other, but it's not regulated by the NFA. And that goes all the way back. You can go to the frequently asked questions on the ATF website. And it goes back to patents in 1863 that says hand crank Gatling guns are not regulated by the ATF. You know, how often does it fire? Three times per crank, because we're going to hear a firing pin drop here. Okay. When the handle is like this, there, and then there. So you got like a 33 degree uh, where, where, it, where the firing pin will drop. And the neat thing also about a Gatling gun is you're sharing that heat over all six barrels. And we put this caveman micro flare ring on it that is supposed to turn orange when it gets over 133 degrees where it would burn you if you, you know, held your hand on it for a while. And I can feel it. We've shot several hundred rounds through it this morning. It's warm, but it's not hot. And so I was disappointed because <laughs> I thought we would get it hot enough but sending as many rounds down range but 22 just doesn't get that hot and that's one of the neat things now we went over the belts earlier the belts are actually just made of individual links so you can buy as many as you want put them together and long as short as possible it feeds by pushing that bullet down into the barrel uh, as it comes across and as it's rolling it down and then your firing position is going to be this uh what would that be four o'clock barrel right about there, it, it, this is the one that's firing, so it's why we put the laser on this side. And then the rounds will fall out of the chute on the seven o'clock barrel, and then it just keeps going as long as you keep cranking and keep feeding it ammo. Like I mentioned earlier, Tipman has their nine millimeter Gatling guns that they had first. Uh, I think it's a 10 and a 16 inch barrel. Uh, they feed with Glock mags, which is really cool. But at the same time, Glock mags only have so much in it. And I was like, the infinite amount of belts is cool for a rimfire. And we're totally gonna use this at youth marksmanship camp. So if you wanna shoot this one, you can sign your nine year olds and up for, to come and play with us there. And then if you need to clean, you can just clean the 10 o'clock barrel here because that's when the bolt is recessed back. And when you run it backwards, uh, it's the safe way to unload it. So you can check all six barrels. Okay, no brass, no bullets. But the neat thing is the reliability because you could feed anything you wanted in it. Something so light it barely jumps out of the barrel or something so hot it keeps going. There's no, you are manually cycling the bolts. So that's what makes Gatling guns pretty cool. We should take this thing hog hunting. Stay tuned for that. But I know 80% of the comments down below will be put a drill on it. Ha ha, funny. If you do that, you are going to violate NFA law, those infringements dating all the way back to 1934. You can't put a a drill on it because the way this is legal is because every different motion is uh, uh, firing requires a different motion but there might be a legal way that we could do that with say an FFL with the 0702 manufacturing license so stay tuned we're gonna see what kind of fun we can have in the meantime if you want your own Gatling gun go check it out at tipmanordnance.com they've got the 22s they got the nine millimeters or you could just come bring your kids and shoot it at marksman camp with me thanks for watching today guys okay bye, -bye, -bye.